so da. In der letzten Mission haben wir die Trophäe freigeschaltet. Binde ein Pferd nicht an den Armbindeposten an oder das Pferd wechseln. Darf man auch nicht in 20 Missionen. Dann haben die Trophäe freigeschaltet. Die habe ich in der letzten in der letzten Episode freigeschaltet die Trophäe und hab die Bonnie befreit, weil die wurde gehängt in der letzten Mission. Und in dieser Mission geht es beim Marshall weiter. Dann würde ich sagen, ein herzliches Willkommen zu Red Dead Redemption 1 Remastered. Damit geht es jetzt weiter. Ich hoffe, ich habe die letzte Episode gefallen. Ich habe schon bei den Resonanzen geschaut. Ein paar Folgen sind besser gekommen. Die haben 60er Aufrufe und ein paar Folgen sind halt schlechter angekommen. Aber das ist wie es ist. So da. Da wollte mir gerade irgendwie anschießen, Alter. Das gibt's doch nicht. Irgendwer wollte mir einfach anschießen. Das war die erste Mission am Anfang. Die sind auch meistens. Ich weiß nicht, ob da Banditen sind oder nicht. Aber könnte sein. Oder Überfall auf Fort Mercer ist die nächste Mission. Und die Folge geht wieder so 40 bis 45 Minuten circa und dann gehe ich essen. Ich weiß noch nicht wann die Folge online kommen wird, aber bald. Gentlemen! It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> But we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. When the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. <laughs> It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That okay. man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. So die erste richtige heftige Mission wird das hoffentlich. Escunce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! Good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. <laughs> This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Hey there! <laughs> come on in! Come on in! 
Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Sucking some bitches escape the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. I didn't need to talk. I didn't need to give my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you farewell. Die Putti ist gestorben. Oh mein Gott. Come on, let's go! Er lebt gegen alles fort.
Stops doing that. I think that's most of them, boys. Come on, let's regroup. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got a sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down I'm south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. <laughs> so it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. So, what Mercer überfall the Hammerschaft? Endlich mal mal auf eine Mission mit Action. Aber wir haben ihn Bill nicht gefunden. Williams. Vielleicht am Schluss. Oder keine Ahnung, wann die die Mission. Nächste Trophäe halten unbegrenzte Möglichkeiten. Fort auf, also Überfall auf Fort Mercer. Geschafft. Geil. Let's see what you got. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go Ja, 
Nagyon nagy csik tolt. Das ist ein bisschen ein bisschen ein bisschen ein bisschen ein ein Someone around. Some <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time, and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey! Come on, now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, uh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> 
Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. Uh, the same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of kits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. Drift down river. All right, I'll be the short and tender box once we lose these sons of bitches. Jump to it, Johnny boy. There's a rifle at the back of the raft. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. Get the hell away from me! Johnny Nora! Sakes alive! Holy crap, I'm not cool. On the cliff to your left, more of the bastards! Oh, 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 oh.
think I got my eye back. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, them big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Hey, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that pokey? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! No, I need to be there. Country and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with a notorious old joke, though. Kill these ungrateful bastards, man! See that? The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. We made it. <laughs> These horses look fresher. <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. 
I, I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. Uh, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one.
Bonnie McFarlane, wie denkt, weil die letzte Mission überschreiben. Dann mit der nächsten Folge geht es weiter bei Descenter oder bei Landon Rickets. Wir haben den Ford Mercer Überfall abgeschlossen und da geht es mit der nächsten Folge weiter. Oder wir gehen ins Paradies gespeichert um 17.27 Uhr perfekt in dem Sinne ich hoffe euch hat die Folge gefallen wenn ja abonnieren das wichtigste auf jeden Fall liken und kommentieren wäre nicht schlecht also das würde mir am meisten freuen wenn das für würde tun würde und ich habe schon gesehen, ein paar Videos kommen besser an, wie Part 2 oder ich weiß jetzt nicht ganz genau im Kopf, aber ein paar Episoden haben 60 Aufrufe und manche nur 40. Die kommen besser an und manche schlechter. Ich hoffe, diese Folge kommt auch gut an und ja, in dem Sinne bis zur nächsten Folge. Tschüss, ciao und servus. Wenn es wieder hast, Red Dead Redemption Remastered.